Hey guys, welcome back to L'Amore La Musique and to a space I haven't filmed in in quite a while. I have grand plans to make this entire finished attic space my true L'Amour HQ. It has just been such a nightmare to consolidate where I work and I've been recording podcast episodes up here because it's carpeted which really helps with the acoustics. So. I have a temporary filming setup for now we're gonna rock it old school when I where I'm basically sitting on the floor of a bedroom scape okay lots to cover today primarily this is a Mercedes shops to tell you about some recent beauty orders I'm going to include an older beauty heroes order from the very end of September because there they've been things I've been wanting to tell you about and then I want to tell you about the beauty sales that I took advantage of in like early mid-November the way brands and companies structure their holiday shopping deals has just become so bananas, as I'm sure you're aware. The friends and family beauty sales, like Beauty Habit, Credo, Detox Market, Sephora, they all happened many weeks ago at this point. However, brand specific sales, like if you just go to Carewise's website or Graydon's website or you know specific brands those deals I think are going to still be coming basically up until the holidays this is not like a gift guide video or anything like that actually for the November patron exclusive video I did do a my version I guess of a holiday gift guide but it's not so much here are all the deals type of thing it was more my own holiday shopping lists across beauty home kids baby slash kids and apparel it was a screencast video so i flipped my camera around and just went through web pages of things that i had bookmarked and gave tips and just an inside peek into my shopping list patreon.com slash la more la musique okay actually i was going to mention this at the end but i actually think it's worth mentioning at the outset this is a very overwhelming time of year especially to people that are sensitive to advertising to begin with it just feels like the holiday shopping craziness is really an assault on the senses to a lot of us i listened to a podcast that i had been meaning to listen to for a while yesterday i guess it was just the right time for me to finally listen to it and i found it very fortifying i mean i was very emotional listening to it it's on being with krista tippett it's episode number 675 with anand jurid haridas when the market is our only language. He is a journalist. I think he teaches at, or he's a visiting scholar at the Arthur L. Carter Journalism Institute at NYU. And he had done this really prestigious fellowship at the Aspen Institute. It's about how money and economics and business logic, it's the main value ideology that drives American culture and why that's a problem. I just feel compelled to mention these because it's important to have like some balance with this. Also, if you hear the wind, the weather is absolutely crazy outside today. It rained all night and it's been very very windy this morning let's talk about this beauty heroes order very excited to have these back in my life and i actually haven't opened them yet i've been trying to use up a couple of other things this is the inlight floral tonic and the inlight face cleanser i had gone through full sizes of these as pr samples right around the time when sorry i'm just looking for my little scissors so i can open this. I had gone through full sizes of this. They were sent to me around the time when last year, it was like basically a year ago, when Inlight was featured in Beauty Heroes. My three favorite products that I've tried from Inlight, and I've tried a fair amount of stuff from the brand, are the cleansing balm, the floral tonic, and the chocolate mask. So I would recommend all three of those. Uh, if you're in the market for a balm, the line softener is also really nice. So this is the floral tonic. Once I was done with these, I couldn't stop thinking about them so it was obviously just time to replenish them and have them in my life it comes with a little spatula scoop this is the face cleanser so gorgeous so so good for an extensive facial massage absolute perfection okay I also decided to pick up a product I had been loving since I tried it as a sample sachet in the Graydon box, Beauty Heroes box from over the summer. The Face Glow, which is a tinted moisturizer, primer, and illuminator. I've been told that this also has SPF coverage in it because I guess titanium dioxide is listed on the ingredient list. I used this as a primer before using the Kare Weiss foundation as my base today. I really like it. Uh, they upped the price kind of recently it was like 37 or 38 for a while and when i bought it it was 43 for 1.35 fluid ounces but it's really nice happy to have it going into winter 
some of the stuff I actually like throughout all the orders that I placed I have some first impressions and thoughts so it's a little bit more than just a haul okay I got two Persoma baths which are already empty um, minerals de mer and a resurrection every time I make a beauty heroes order I tend to pick up a couple Persoma baths minerals de mer resurrection and hot tub bath are my favorites I've been very into bathing in the last six months or so not just with Persoma but I've been bulk ordering sea salt and I've been doing these therapeutic baths and it's something that I want to do a whole video or podcast episode on because it's become a really big part of my life. Okay, I got a David's toothpaste which you can see is already underway. Constant repurchase. I think that that was all I got in that order but I qualified for the Love More promotion which is a favorite product of mine. It was the Love More promotion with the Red Flower Arctic Berry Cloud Milk Cream the best body lotion of all time. I mean, a CV Skin Labs, but they serve very different purposes. I've gone through so many huge jars of this. It's It was one of the first Beauty Heroes Hero products when Beauty Heroes initially launched as Spa Heroes five plus years ago. Okay, what shall we tackle next? Oh, before we move into the friends and family sales, I didn't get a chance to do a standalone review of the November Beauty Heroes Oh my god, I'm like a mess with filming today. I did not get to do a standalone video review of the November Beauty Heroes box featuring Beneath Your Mask, but I have already tried and talked about relatively extensively elsewhere the Hero product, which is the Heel Whipped Skin Souffle. I actually have one going, so I, I will probably gift this one away to someone on Patreon or... I don't know I may give it to print someone in my family or something um, but I have this product already I love it I've used probably half my jar when this was featured as an indie discovery box last year around the holidays I don't know how well this box was received I, pr I also talked about this product in my postpartum essentials video because I think it's a really nice postpartum body care product it smells like lemon candy and it is it has a very very high percentage of shea butter so it makes it um, a little bit difficult to apply as with everything I mix it with or I take like a couple pumps of the CB skin labs lotion and a swipe of this and I apply it like that and it helps so I use this as like an all-over heavy-duty body moisturizer not every night but I alternate it with other stuff the remedy conditioning lip balm has been having heavy rotation place in my lip care routine I alternate it in the evenings with the Laneige lip sleeping mask I did an Instagram post on this I think it's fantastic so I thought that this was a really nice box for going into cold weather okay why don't we talk about credo friends and family and then we'll talk about Sephora VIB I had to regather some of this stuff because we've been using it I picked up two face cleansers one for me and one for Kave my partner for him I got the one love organics easy does it foaming cleanser now he is someone that wants as aggressive a cleanser as I could give him he really likes the audacity I forget what it's called it's like the black charcoal mint cleanser that's like one of his very very favorites that I've ever given him and some of the other ones I've had him try he's like this li like literally does nothing like the some of the blissoma cleansers he's like I feel like it makes my face dirtier after but I tend to use those as a second cleanse and he's just like typical guy one and done in the shower and I'm not sure I can really get him to use a bar soap on his face yet. Otherwise, I would probably try and get him to do one of the Osmia soaps. Anyway, long story short, he really likes this. It's much more similar, I think, to the experience of a conventional face cleanser, which is why he likes it. It's in a pump. It is easy to use in the shower. I've never used this myself. It, I don't tend to gravitate towards foaming cleansers. And he has a little bit more oily skin than I do. For myself, for a second cleanse, I decided I wanted to try the Marie Veronique Gentle Gel Cleanser. As I've already pointed out, I am a dedicated oil and balm first cleanse facial massager, but I tend to want to use something to take the oil residue off. Um, most nights, alternating between this, the Five Yena Bioadaptive All Seasons Cleanser, and Moon Aqui, all as second cleanses, and they're serving me well. It leaves my skin feeling pretty neutral. I definitely wouldn't say stripped. It has non-irritating sugar surfactants to cleanse and calm sensitive skin while preventing moisture loss i yeah i don't have a bad thing to say about it i love the pump i think it's really really nice i'm happy with it okay i picked up a bottle 
of the Santegrity Impeccable Skin Mineral Matte Tinted Coverage. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 30, it's infused with peptides, vitamin C and E, and interestingly, it says here blue light protection, which I haven't had a chance to fully research. That's the first time I think I've ever come across a beauty product that is marketing itself as blue light protection from screens. I got it in the shade Buff, which is the second to lightest, and I like it quite a bit. I'm gonna have to use it more to give like a full comparison between the regular Santegrity 5-in-1 versus the Impeccable Skin. It's $10 more, but so far I'm liking it. I would actually say that it's, it's a little bit more illuminating on the skin. Okay, I bought a couple of backups. I got another David's toothpaste just to have in backup because I go through them pretty quickly. I got a replacement Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Brow Envy Gel. I think this is like the third or fourth one of these I've gotten. I get this in medium dark and it's kind of like the same thing as Glossier Boy Brow but it doesn't irritate my eyebrows the way that does. Okay then I decided to get one of the Carewise Cream Eyeshadows. I went with the shade Gorgeous but I thought that the cream shadows were interchangeable with the powder shadow housing so i just bought the refill because i have a powder shadow that is no more that i was transitioning out of the housing come to find out the krys cream shadow shadows are much larger and they come with their own housing so i just stuck this in my z palette that i never really reached for or use it's a plummy brownie minky purple taupe shade it's quite nice as far as cream shadows go the longevity is is decent um i do get some creasing but i don't really mind i mean my eye makeup like creases all the time just because i have oily lids and i kind of like a lived in look so i just pat it out and go on with my day yeah i like it i can't think of what it's really similar to right now and i need to play around with it more but i've been having a real like eye makeup moment recently for whatever reason Zo Organics Refresh Oil. I've gone through one or two of these in the past. Zo Organics is an amazing, amazing baby-centric brand, but I've just had this for myself as an aromatherapy oil. Yeah, it's so nice and refreshing. It has like a lemon peel, gentle lemon peel type scent, and ginger and peppermint. I've given this as gifts before to people, and they're, yeah, it's, it's super nice. Totally love this. It's affordable too. It's like $14. Okay, then I picked up a couple samples. I got one of their like point perk things, and it's a mini of Kosas Rose Water. This is a very blue toned pink. I have been playing around with it and finding pretty good success. Uh, I had talked about this in, and I'm going to talk about these other products in a minute. The December Boxwalla box featuring Lapar. I've been using the Lapar lip balm to create like a lip stain with this and a cream blush and I'm really quite liking it. Depending on how I pair it with other makeup, it's a really nice neutral. It's not like a perfect neutral for me because it's it has that like blue undertone. For some reason I tend to need neutrals that have quite a bit of brown in them to ground them, but I'm loving it. Especially it's really beautiful on the cheeks. And then I picked up a couple samples, the Province Apothecary Full Brow Serum with coffee and argan, and a sample of the Ellis Brooklyn West Eau de Parfum. Eh, kind of neither here nor there with that. Okay, so that was Credo. Very successful order. Don't need to, I don't even know if Credo accepts returns, but I'm happy with everything I got. So that was a big success. Why don't we quickly take this small detour before we talk about Sephora VIB to talk about the Lapar products very quickly. Head to over to Instagram at La Morella Musique and I've started doing little IGTV videos. I think the quick first impression video I did of these was around nine or ten minutes long and I really like these products. I like them much more than I kind of thought that I would at the outset. This is probably my favorite brand discovery through Buxwalla. It's an Australian company and really, really good for people that want a substantial feeling product, like for example, these Inlight products. Like the Inlight face balm is just like so weighty and hefty and substantial and luxe. These have that similar quality, but they're not as fragrant with essential oils they use very very small amounts of essential oils they have a whole philosophy on using essential oils in skincare that might jive with some of you that are more sensitive or perhaps averse to them for whatever reason packaging is i mean come on 
so exquisite it's like kind of crazy so i wanted to give a plug for that box i think it's still available it would make a beautiful gift i'm really liking all three things quite a bit okay let's do sephora vib this was a little bit less of a smashing success than my credo order i knew that i wanted to try some Rowan Beauty products. I don't know how many of you have heard of this brand. It's kind of taken the internet, the beauty internet, I, I don't know, kind of by storm. It's a, a brand that was started by a Los Angeles-based makeup artist, Nikki DeRoost, I think is her name. It kind of gives me millennial glossier-ish type of energy but the products they have very good marketing i will say that they make the products look really beautiful really covetable a powder eyeshadow but it feels like a cream so it's this supposed to be this really interesting formula i think they even call them like lid illumes or something anyway i picked up the 52 degree cool eyeshadow palette and they do a i think it's like 75 degree warm palette so i got the cools and then i got one of the eye universals that come in two shades i got the shade disco which is the more neutral champagne and they do like a kind of a reddish brown sunset type of color and then i got their new release the rowan val brow i like hate that name <laughs> irks me my favorite of the three though probably actually is this brow product though it comes in three shades and i got it in medium it's really kind of a crapshoot whether i'll go for the darkest shade which is typically a black sometimes i'll go for black eyebrow products sometimes i'll go for brown I really like this. I mean, it's very comparable to something like Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, it actually seems a little more pigmented than that. It has a very thin spoolie. Something I don't like though is that the caps are different sizes, which is kind of annoying. I don't know. It's just nice when the cap sizes are the same and like interchangeable. But I'm wearing this in my brows today. I really quite like it. It's waxy. It stays put. This has no warm undertones to it. So I'm definitely going to keep that. Now the other two, the 52 degree eyeshadow palette and the Disco Eye Universal, uh, I don't know. I'm wearing, I am wearing the Rowan shadows on my lids today. I've been wearing them on Instagram and people have been asking me. So I think that they look eye-catching. Okay, first of all, the packaging feels very cheap to me. I don't know, maybe that's like kind of bad to say, but I just expect, I don't know, maybe I'm like used to K or Weiss that's like those super weighty metal. I mean, it does have a mirror. I haven't seen anyone say any, anything bad about these products. Everyone just really raves. So this is the cool palette. Okay, let's see, Basque, Rendezvous. I'm wearing Rendezvous on my lids right now. Meow, and this shade is called Yep. If that's not like a millennial, I'm, I'm barely a mill barely but i am but this is like young mill i think i'm probably gonna keep this i've been doing some get ready with me live streams on patreon playing around with these like i did an all over the lid look with this brown and a little bit of this i should do a separate review of these products i guess because i've been trying them a lot of different ways this is what disco looks like i'm not even going to swatch them for you because they will get everything messy the drop down and migration of these throughout the course of the day with or without eye primer, yes or no paired on top of a powder shadow. I've been trying them lots of different ways and I still get a lot of migration. I don't know if that's just my oily eyelids or what. These are the kind of product where you it seems like you really have to work through that film that's kind of sitting on the top. I thought this would be a really nice sparkly holiday eye I I'm just not as nuts about them as people seem to be so I'm kind of thinking I might return the disco eye universal I feel like I'll probably keep this but I may return this too so I was really quite underwhelmed with these unfortunately I don't think they're as good as people are claiming that they are online okay now normally I roll my eyes at a celebrity started or backed beauty brand for the most part, I'm sure that there are exceptions, but like Olivia Wilde with True Botanicals, I just I cannot. <laughs> so many examples of this, celebrities starting makeup lines or beauty lines. However, I have consistently, consistently heard raves, raves about the brand Cora Organics. Now this is the brand that was started, I believe by Miranda Kerr. I don't know if she, it's like Jessica Alba with Honest Beauty. It's like she's the face of it, but I don't know how active she is actually in the formulation or that side of things. I wanted to try something. I've heard really good things about the skincare. So they have this magic mask duo and one of the most highly rated Cora products is this turmeric brightening and exfoliating mask. 
I have really moved away from using physical exfoliants on my face just based on feedback I've gotten from different estheticians that my skin type would really do best with average once a week with acid type of exfoliation, whether it's through fruit enzymes or something like that. So I've been in the market to find one I like. I've still been playing around with Maya Chia, that refresh mint mask. I don't know. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan. So I have really high hopes for this. It's, it has really good reviews, all, even though I don't really tr trust reviews online. And it also, this duo came with the Noni Glow Sleeping Mask. People say their the Cora Vitamin C product is amazing. Make of it what you will. We'll see. Okay, I had to get a new beauty blender because I have had three beauty blenders going for a while. A nude, a pink, and a black. And the pink and the nude have mold on them. The black probably does, you just can't tell. And I do everything I can to prevent mold growth in beauty blenders and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But it's a really big pain because I would still be able to use them if it hadn't grown mold. So the only thing I can think of is I just can't get it fully wet every time I wanna use my beauty blender. So what I've been doing is getting it wet, you know, only every couple of days or however long it takes it to dry completely. We don't have like furnaces or anywhere where I can let it, I'm, I'm not gonna stand there and blow dry a freaking beauty blender. Like I don't have time for that. I don't know how to get it to dry faster so on the days when it's like still kind of damp from the day before uh, I've just been like spritzing the edge of it with a toner and using that so it's not as good as if it were fully immersed and wrung out with water but yeah I mean I put it in a place with circulation and like not stuffed any I don't know why I don't know can anyone help me troubleshoot very annoying and then nothing else really I got some samples of these Playa everyday shampoo and conditioner no, not really that exciting. Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne just because probably not going to use it. Uh, but yeah, that's everything I got at Sephora. A few more quick one-off things before we get to the creme de la creme of this video. This is not the creme de la creme, but I decided I wanted to try the Honest Beauty Extreme Length Mascara and Lash Primer. I've again, heard amazing things about this since i had a pr i've had a pretty good experience with those liquid lipsticks that i did the lip swatch video on not that long ago i just i'm all i feel like i'm always at target or picking things i hear the baby crying always picking up diapers and things at target threw this into one of my orders it's okay i am wearing it today i mean more to come i might do a mascara lineup video actually someone requested that and I have so many actually from some previous content that I've done so that could be a good one but this is like eh. I've only used it a couple times though so I need to give it a little more time okay this I kind of thought was maybe worth mentioning again I had done some Instagram stories on these this was the November detox box detox market beauty box <laughs> detox market detox box november box was featuring these spa ritual products i had never heard of this brand it came with a body cream foot balm a, i think a body lotion and then like a stick balm the only thing i felt really drawn to from the box was the stick balm and it ha even has a little bit of a powdery smell so i offered them up to cob i was like before i maybe divest these to someone on patreon who might want to try them do you want to try and he was like yeah yeah you guys the other day he was like i love that spa ritual earl gray body cream like i love it it's the best body cream i've ever used now keep in mind he doesn't have the same breadth of product experience that we do but you know he actually is quite discerning like he knows when products are not good like the ursa major body wash he freaking cannot stand and when things don't work he doesn't like them he's obsessed he also really has been liking the couscous rasa cbd balm he plays volleyball quite regularly like club volleyball and he tends to get like sore knees or joints or whatever from playing volleyball and he's been really liking the couscous rasa for that but this just kind of is every day he has i don't think he's had a chance to use the foot balm yet but those get the cob seal of approval dun okay. dun dun <laughs> I did an Instagram post on these and the caption was, if this isn't love, do you even want to know what love is? So I ordered two of Lisa Eldridge's lipsticks. If you don't know, because I guess not everybody was aware, last year, I think, Lisa Eldridge released 
uh, her line of lipsticks that she had been working on for quite a long time. They sold out very, very quickly and they have not been available until this second release that just happened in the beginning of November. So I picked up two shades, Velvet Jazz, which is what I'm wearing right now, in the True Velvet lip color. And then she has another formula called the Insanely Saturated Lip Color, and I got Skyscraper Rose. And I'm kind of regretting, honestly, not getting more. I did a Patreon live stream using, uh, like, unboxing and using these for the first time and showing the texture up close. I'm, I could not be happier with it. There's three reds in the collection, Velvet Morning, which is like an orangey red. I am, I always blank, oh, Velvet Ribbon, I think it's called, which is the true blue based like bright red and then velvet jazz is it's described as a brick red on me it's like a perfect just like deep red i feel like the undertones of these lipsticks are so exceptional skyscraper rose is a bright pink fuchsia uh very it's like a true pink undertone i swatched it against one of my uh, other fuchsia lipsticks that i was hoping to replace it because this is so old this is a romy liquid lipstick in electric orchid which i love but this has more of a purple undertone haven't had a chance to test drive this yet but wow i need to gush about these somewhere else i don't really know where i'm gonna do that yet but i'm gonna have to hop off quickly now but there's so many ways to support lamore if you aren't able to be on patreon you can like this video you can tell your friends about my work if they're interested in independent beauty reviews that are sponsorship free please keep your eyes peeled for my announcement that the lamore podcast is launching i'm hoping that it will be out before christmas oh one more thing i forgot because i plucked this uh out of my sephora vip box so if you watched until the very end now here's a little bonus i have so many sephora points to use because i'm never really that into the stuff that they offer but they had a 500 point perk beauty insider box featuring biosans okay the sole reason i got this is because uh amy she's been uh following Lamore for quite a long time and is a very regular commenter. We were talking about eye products on Instagram, I think. She mentioned how much she really likes the Biosense Squalene and Peptide Eye Gel. So when I saw this Biosense thing, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get it just for the eye gel. But also I've seen like Brita Beauty and maybe some other estheticians in the holistic space, gua sha space, talk about Biosense. So I guess the products are, are like decent, right? It came with a squalane and omega repair cream, squalane and vitamin C rose oil, the peptide eye gel, and the phytoretinol serum. Yeah, I got that too. I have to go put all of this away, start using all of it. So excited. Filming these videos is amazing because then I get to put everything away and just like really dive in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you soon, hopefully in December. Beauty Heroes, bye.